want to start this video with a little introduction uh, while I'm editing and rewatching the footage I have from the last month. I try to percept this process of self-documentation not as a blogger or a public figure, but as an artist, if I'm entitled to call myself one, and first of all as a human being. Putting yourself both in the place of the observer and an observant for some reason always gave me the energy to act and structure my way of thinking. And the same goes for watching people live through their own lives. It always gives me strength to live through my own. So hereby I invite you to live through these days with me and perhaps to start your own self-documentation journey. Today we are Sunday, the 4th of February and it's pretty warm today for the beginning of February. Normally February is the coldest month uh, in Kyiv, in Ukraine in general and today feels like early spring. I'm still very... no, I'm not very sleepy but I look, I look sleepy, I have a good sleep and I have... Um, even though it's Sunday I usually work on Sundays um, and today I have a music rehearsal, let's call it that, and then I'll have the first lesson online on 3D, like 3D designing for clothes, um, that's pretty interesting, and then I'm just gonna do some mostly stuff on my laptop like I will work um, yeah that's 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 kind of that's it <laughs> What's nice about Kiev that you can always take a shortcut through some backyards.
Wow, I didn't expect this kind of weather today. a bit of the street so you can see a bit of the city uh, the weather is clear it's not too cold and it already feels like really early spring but it's not enjoyable either the ugly part of architecture in Kiev is that people uh, build these kind of balconies on the old buildings that are beautiful but then you have this like really ugly balcony just to make yourself warmer kind of I don't know and every time you see a building I know this one also has one balcony that's sad yeah. The most difficult part of the day off is not to rush. This guy begged me to go outside, but once we are outside, I don't think he really enjoys the weather. Or is it just me? Today it's Tuesday and I'm feeling as lazy as ever and it's kind of difficult for me to concentrate today and I was not even having energy to record a short video. It's already like 3 p.m. something and I don't know, I wanted to say that I didn't do the things like my little tasks I had to but actually I only did little tasks which I thought would take really small amount of my day but instead of really doing things I did ended up like moving furniture in my flat and <laughs> I don't know there are days like that and probably I just have to accept this fact so I actually wanted to sew some things in my studio and work on the new drop which I'm already working for some time because of the trip I've been to and yeah so it takes time but I'm actually not in a rush to anywhere <laughs> so I just think it will all happen on the right timing but I'm not gonna I mean it's not that I want to be lazy about it but probably also there is no reason to stress about it I hope this makes sense I have a musical rehearsal later today um, in two hours or so and before that I will do a bit of yoga maybe I will work a bit in my uh, studio um, 
and add some little details on the hoodies I'm working on. Uh, yeah, I guess even doing like a small thing will already make me feel better. And now I'm gonna do half, yeah, half an hour of yoga. Well, actually, it's so funny because now it sounds like, oh, I have everything under control, but I really was feeling not that energized and not that well the first part of the day. Mm. But yeah, there are days like that, I guess. So. <laughs> He's too tired now. He walked a lot. Today I woke up from an explosion and I heard just one, uh, but apparently there were more in the city. He insisted we went inside to the inside of a pet shop. It's a really like really cute one. This looks like hiking stuff. <laughs> wow, this looks like stuff for for kids. I mean, not everyone buys this kind of toys for their kids, I think. Wow. <laughs> Another snowy day. Today have a chill day. I'm gonna talk to my friend, uh, my good friend actually, who's a yoga teacher. So we're gonna do a bit yoga related tattoo and she's gonna come with her dog which is a best friend or even a girlfriend of my dog so we're gonna play it's cute so and there's no rush in the evening i just go to a bar pop up and yeah that's it I forgot to film the tattoo appointment and the pop-up yesterday um, and today I don't have much energy to be honest but and it's snowy I don't know for some reason I feel like the winter is over it's like beginning of February it's actually the coldest months usually but I felt like oh yeah the winter is over and now every time we have snow I'm like oh it's not <laughs> And so today I'm gonna go watch a mo new movie of Wim Wenders and I'm going to a birthday party in the evening. If I don't forget, I'm gonna film some... some? Ce 
да вот это да, место просто это. So this is a scenery you can see really in the yeah almost center of the city. I know it's some old house, but actually somewhere there is an entrance to really old caves, like from the I don't know. I will check and I will write to you <laughs> exact information, but it's crazy. Small, but he not small, but short. No, he's actually long, but he's good at jumping anyway. a lot of old buildings that were built before the revolution I mean the October revolution, Red Revolution and then you have a lot of buildings from I think those are from 60s, 70s I'm not sure <laughs> okay. There are no policies about air conditioners unlike you have in Europe in a lot of places so it's really common to see them everywhere. It's Sunday morning. I'm going to um, like a stretching class. I don't know it's gonna be. I've never been to this class before. And I just had a, took a taxi, and I usually take a taxi with my dog. Uh, so. <laughs> So probably it was noted and I didn't put attention to it. So when I got in the taxi, in the car, the driver was like, where's the dog? <laughs> and it was so cute because he was, I, th I think he was really expecting and like, he really wanted to see the dog. So I disappointed him a bit. But anyway, it's nice that I can take a taxi with the dog. I'd say in general, Kyiv is quite, I mean, Ukraine. It depends. I don't. I can't tell about other cities, but in general, it's quite pet friendly. You can go to some supermarkets with your dog, uh, almost to all of the cafes, and hopefully soon you'll be able to uh, take a metro with your dog. There was a petition recently, and yeah, hope it's gonna work because it will make life simpler. Yeah. 